Okay, I'm just going to do a little tutorial uh, on how I am going to be setting up my lecture streaming uh, and audio recording and capture and video recording and capture. Um, those of you that don't have a big background with recording stuff, neither do I. But I have, so if I've done anything in here that's weird or wrong, please correct me and I'm happy to always improve my, my lectures as well. Uh, I'm going to be using OBS Studio. Um, you can download OBS, it's free. Uh, just go to obsproject.com and download whatever version works for you. Um, when you do that, make sure that you go and download a, the virtual cam plugin for it as well. Um, so just make sure this is all open source stuff. I think you can pay for some of it if you want to. Um, make sure you download both of these and install both of them. Um, and then when you do, you're going to have a view that looks an awful lot like this, right? You're going to have a view where you're going to set up a display capture and an audio input capture down here in the sources column. So you're not going to originally see anything, so you have to an manually add on it by clicking on this um, the plus symbol down here in the sources. Uh, so once you set up an audio capture and once you set up a display capture, you're going to have a screen very similar to this. Um, you have the option to kind of click on the screen and actually edit how much of the screen you're displaying. So if you're someone that doesn't have two screens or three screens set up um, to, to capture that data, uh, you can kind of only lecture in a portion of the screen and only screen that section out as well. Um, I like to add in a video capture as well. So the, the video capture is just going to be the, the webcam that's on the front of my um, computer. Uh, it is uh, going to be the integrated webcam that's already set up. Um, I don't want to be that large. I don't want to take up that much room. So I'm just going to click on that, cor that corner and uh, move it over. And then by pressing the Alt key and then grabbing on different sections, I can actually alter what portion of the camera is actually going to be displayed. So I can change the size of my uh, picture in the corner. Um, you may or may not be able to see that it's kind of phasing out this green background that I have in the background. I've done that by clicking on the uh, clicking on the video capture to the device, adding a filter. And when I've done this, uh, I have added in an effect filter where, oops, this is the audio one. Uh, I added in an effect filter for chroma key. That chroma key is just going to automatically set up to be a green default. And when I set that up, hey look, the green screen behind me disappears and you can effectively see the lecture material behind me. Um, so this is what I use to set up and to start things. Um, there's a tool that I have to push this down a little bit for you to actually see it. Um, in the tools section, there's a virtual cam because you installed that plugin already. Um, I'm going to start that plugin. I don't want to do any horizontal flip or anything. Um, and the target camera that it's going to be capturing the images that are being displayed through OBS is going to shoot it out through something called the OBS camera. I'm going to start that. So when that is has been started, I'm now going to only be uh, capturing the information that is on one of my screens. Um, you may need to change it, right? If you just search for removing background noise, right? There's a bunch of people that have gone through the same sort of thing to try and change background noises. If you're near an air conditioning system or a radiator or something like that, you can filter out all of that old noise. Um, the way that I'm going to be interacting with this is I'm going to be using uh, Blackboard and the streaming function in Blackboard Collaborate. So if you just get to your Blackboard Collaborate Ultra, uh, it is set up. Um, if you just enter into any room in Blackboard Collaborate, uh, whatever room you have set up already, my green screen's a little, I need to fix it a little bit. It's a little bit not, not super green and screen for me. Um, rather than where I would normally lecture, I turn on my video here. Um, rather than doing it that way, uh, 
Um, alternatively, I'm going to be uh, opening the Collaborate panel and where it gives me the option to share content. If I want to share my screen, I can, or I can just share a camera. And by clicking on that camera, I could be going particularly, that would be using my web camera, or because I've set up that virtual cam, it is feeding me out the OBS um, image. So now when I do this, this is gonna start getting real, real recursive. I don't even know where to look anymore. There you go. Now I'm streaming out me displayed over top of one of the screens and there's a slight delay. God, where's my mouse? All right, bye.